Hello, I'm Victoria and I'm here to guide you through 30 minutes today of strengthening and stretching. We're going to focus on hamstring, hips, and a lot of core strengthening. And we will get started. Find a mat if you have one. If you don't have a mat, no worries. Hardwood floor tends to be better, a little bit easier, less sliding. Bare feet better than carpeting if possible. And if you don't have a yoga block or anything like that, a cushion is very helpful or even a soccer ball um, for today's practice will be great. We'll get started. Find your space, find your mat or your area, and we'll get started in extended child pose. So knees can come really far apart and then bring your big toes to touch in the back. We're gonna stretch into the hips here. Walk your hands forward. This is the extended version of child's pose. Push your hips back, let your forehead press down. Keep reaching and lengthening through your arms. If your hips are feeling tight and that's not working, try to bring your legs together and then just press back on your seat. Walk your hands forward, bring your forehead down to the mat. If that's not working either, no worries. We'll move into a puppy dog pose. You can come to your knees. Walk your hands out long and press your forehead down in the mat. So find your variation, whether extended child's pose or puppy dog pose, and just come into it for a couple breaths here. Just a nice big breath in the nose. Deep exhale out. Two more like that. Let the hips stretch out. Relax your shoulders down as you're reaching your arms forward. It may even feel good to just rock the forehead a little bit left and right. So let your forehead press down, left, right movements. Soften through your shoulders. One more big breath. Big exhale. As we move through the next 30 minutes, I'll offer modification, modifications and different types of postures. So do what feels best in your body. Moving next into a scorpion up dog. So walk into your hands, now we're gonna bring their knees very wide. Press into your hands and push yourself forward. So lift up, let the hips open. Keep the chest and the core pushing forward as you're lifting up through the chest. Feel your shoulders, soften them down. So if your shoulders are pressing way up and towards your ears, relax them down, keep opening up here. One more breath. Right cheek to the back, walk your left arm long or just let it plant, whatever feels good, but let a little weight come into
into chair pose next. Zip those legs together. Hands come to heart center and sink down. So weight is in the heels. You're pushing your tailbone back. Nice flat back here. Core is pulling in. Option here. If this is too intense, bring your feet a little bit wider. That's going to help with balance. Make it just a little bit easier. Wherever you're at, hold and breathe. Find that chair pose. Get really low. Challenge yourself here. This is going to warm up your legs. We're going to add on. You can stay in chair pose and hold. Otherwise, option here, we're going to move into figure four pose. Stretch into the hips a little bit. So sink into that left knee. Take your right ankle on top of your left knee. Hold very low. So option here up here. Or you can grab onto a chair, a wall, anything you need to give you that balance support if you need. You can bend lower and lift, just getting into the hips. All right, and release, opposite side, now sink it low, take that left ankle on top of your right knee, sink down, hold, breathe. Again, you can hold on to something for extra support, you can drop your hands down, you can bend into that knee, just a little hip stretch. So good, and release, feet up in chair pose, reach your arms up, sink low, get as low as you can here, hold, 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 send your tailbone back, big breath. Big exhale, fold all the way down. Plant your hands, step your feet back, find a plank pose. So set up your plank right here. Heels press to the back of the room, soft bending your elbows, long neck, big breath. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Drop it down, take your hands behind you, zip your legs together. Hands interlace behind your back. Pull your shoulders back and down. Press your palms together. Now press into the tops of your feet. Engage your legs. Kneecaps should be lifting up off the mat. As you're ready, inhale, lift up. Lift that chest. Press into your feet. Cobra pose with the chest expansion. Getting into our low back. Big breath. Exhale, release. Plant your hands. Curl your toes under, press it up and back, downward facing dog. Press right through your plank, all the way back, down dog. Nice big breath. Deep, deep exhale. Nice work, look to your hands, step your feet all the way up. Slowly roll up to standing. One more time through that chair pose, just sink low and hold. Big breath. Big exhale, get just a little bit lower. Now just a tiny little pulse to warm up our legs. Breathing in and out. Toes are soft. If you can lift your toes up off the mat a little bit, do so. Really driving back and down in your heels. Nice breath. Big exhale. So good. All right, let's hold it forward. Plant your hands once again. Step your feet all the way back. Set up that plank pose once again. Heels are pushing back. Nice long neck. Flat back. Hold it here. Big breath. Big, big exhale. Now dropping down to your forearms. Drop down to that left forearm. Roll both feet. Open it up. Left forearm is down. Shoulder is right over that elbow. Right hand comes up and behind your head. Let's twist it out. Drop it down. Lift it up. For more intensity, feet can be stacked. Lift and lower. So good. Dropping that right elbow down, lifting up, getting into the obliques. Down and up. We've got three more. I like the way you work. Last one. Nice work. Come back to center. Find your forearm plank once again. And then roll to the opposite side. Right arm comes down. Twist onto those feet. Left hand behind your head. Drop it down. Lift it up. Option again, if you'd like to stack those feet, do so. Drop that left elbow down. Come all the way back up. Just a couple more. Take three more right here. Last one. Back to your forearm plank. Hold here for just a breath. And then as you're ready, press back, downward facing dog. Come up to your hand, push those hips up and back, find your down dog. Try to drive your heels a little bit closer to the earth. Try to push your tailbone up just a little bit higher. 
That's gonna get that deep stretch happening in your hamstring. Nice breath. Big exhale. All right, let's move on. Adding a little bit more movement, getting into our core, finding that down dog, and inhale, reach your right toes up and back. As you reach up, notice your hip. If your hip is popping way off on the right side, level it off. The more you can flatten that hip, the more you're gonna stretch into your left hamstring, which is what we want. All right, right knee comes all the way to your right elbow. Pull it in. Now tick tap that knee left to right. Little bend in your elbows. Try to keep your knee all the way up by your elbows. Side to side. Couple more. Getting into our core. Nice work. Final one. Reach your right toes high, stretch it out, lengthen it out. Now step your right foot between your hands. Drop down to your back knee, crescent moon. Push your hips up and forward. Hands can come to that right leg. Now push your hips forward. Back toes can be curled under or you can flatten them out, whatever feels better here. Pushing your hips forward is stretching into our left hip flexor. One more breath. And exhale. Plant your hands, straightening both legs for pyramid pose. So curl your back toes under, straighten your legs. Fold over that front leg, tuck your chin. Hold it right here. Notice your shoulders, soften your shoulders. Right knee can bend as much as you need. If you need to bend it, that's okay. One more breath. Big exhale. Begin to gaze forward, moving into standing split. So bend into that front knee, slowly pick your left leg up and continue to fold forward and down. You can always use a block here underneath your hands, a ball, a cushion, whatever works. Right knee can bend as much as you need. Hold here for one more big breath. Exhale, release. Nicely done. Sink into your front knee. We're moving into warrior two legs here with the arms. So we're just sinking into that front knee. Spin your back heel down. Now turn towards the side and walk your hands out really far. So there's a deep bend in your front right knee. Your back foot is nice and flat on the mat. And you're gonna feel this in your hip. It's gonna be intense, right? Back toes are angled in. You feel that back leg engaged. You're sinking into that front right knee and your arms are walking as far away from you as you can. Gaze down at your mat. Push your tailbone back. Nice big stretch. Big exhale. So good. All right, walk your hands forward, find a runner's lunge. Just walk your right foot out wide, take a couple circles here, and then slowly step it back down. Find your plank and hold here, plank pose. Big breath, big exhale. Moving into dolphin dog push-ups. Drop down to your forearms. Forearms are down on the mat, nice flat back. So option to stay here and hold in your forearm plank. Otherwise, lift and lower the hips. Hips come straight up, Drop straight down. It's a slow, controlled movement. Targeting the core. Lift and lower. Couple more right here. Breathe through it. So good. You can shake it out at any time. Drop your knees, stretch. Couple more. Let's take three more. Lower and lift. So good. All right, one more all the way up, straight up, control that movement, slowly lower it down. Find your plank pose, press yourself up and back, down dog. Push those hips up, pedal it out, let all that movement go, big breath. Big, big, open mouth exhale, send it out. All right, left side. Inhale, reach your left toes up. Again, if that hip is popping up, drop it down. Pull your left knee, left elbow, drive it in. Make contact with your elbow if you can. Now tick tock right to left. Soft bend in your elbows. Gaze is forward. Pull that knee a little bit higher. Working our core. So good. All right, left toes high, reach and lengthen, big breath. Exhale, step it through. Drop down to your back knee, stretching our right hip flexor this time. Lift it up, keep pushing forward. Hands can just come to your knee. Big breath. 
Okay, exhale, back toes can remain under. You can get that nice stretch or you can relax them down. Push your hips a little bit farther forward. One more inhale, exhale up. All right, curl your back toes under, plant your hands. Pyramid pose, straighten your legs, shift back, tuck your chin, drop your head. Back heel can be lifted or flat on the mat. Keep driving your left hip back, hip breath. Let that go. Begin to gaze forward, bend into that front knee, standing splits. Bring that right leg up, drop your head down. Again, you can use anything under your hands, knee can bend as much as you need. Big breath, big exhale, and release. Bring that back foot down, spin the whole foot down on the mat, sink deep in that left knee, warrior two legs, Take your hands to the side. Now walk your hands out. Push your seat back. Drop your head down. Breathe here. Keep driving into that back leg, sinking into your front knee. Really big hip stretch. It's gonna, you're gonna feel it. That's normal. All right, slowly walk your hands back in. Walk your left foot up to the side, runner's lunge. Maybe a couple circles here, softening your elbows. And then kick it back, find your plank, hold here, big breath, big, big exhale. A little bit more core, moving into sphinx lifts. Drop all the way down to your belly, lower it down. Now forearms come down to the mat. Lift your chest, your heart, through your forearms. So we want to feel it opening in the chest here. You're probably going to feel this in the low back. Feet are about hip width distance. Press into the tops of your feet, so point through those toes, lift the chest, elbows are tight to the body. Option to stay here, hold, take a break, find some breath. For more core work here, and not just that back stretch, press into your feet, engage your legs, lift your body up. Inhale, on the exhale, lift your body up, find a nice flat back, find that plank pose. Lower down, come all the way up and through. And again, lift it up, nice flat back, slowly lower. And then just find your pace here, lifting and lowering. Again, slower controlled movements. We're engaging the core, we're using those leg muscles. Taking any bit of momentum out of it and using muscles by keeping it very slow and controlled. Three more. Lift it up, lower, and pull that chest through. So good. Two more. All right, nice job. Come to your knees, press it up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal it out a little bit here. We'll take a little bit more movement in our legs now. Inhale, right toes high, reach it up. Exhale, step it all the way through. This time, crescent lunge. So lift your body straight up. Arms come up. Sink into that front knee. Very deep bend in that front knee. Back knee is off the mat. Modification here, if this isn't working in your body, drop to that back knee and hold. All right, hands come to heart center. We're going to straighten and lower. Lift, lower. Right here, just a couple times, warming up those legs. Last three. Hold it low in two. Final one. Sink low. Now hold. Lift that front back heel up and down. Pulsing that leg. Three, two. And one, inhale all the way up, turn towards the side, setting up a warrior two now. Same movement as we did in those legs, just upright instead of folding forward. So deep bend in the front knee, back toes are angled in, both of your legs are engaged. Arms reach long, gaze over your front fingertips. You want to get as deep as you can in that front knee. Hold here, big breath. Big exhale. Now relax your shoulders away from your ears, lengthen all the way through your fingertips, Inhale, straighten your leg, lift up. Exhale, lower it down. Two more times, all the way up and down. Last one, all the way up. 
hold it low, take one more breath here. Now inhale, star pose, lift everything up. Bring your hands up, heels in, toes out, horse pose. So toes are pointing out, heels are in, sink into your hips, hands come to heart center. Big, big breath. Big, big exhale, so good. Bring your hands to your inner thighs, just tip side to side. As you press your shoulder down, sink your tailbone back. Stretch into the hips, let this feel good. All the way back to center as you're ready, adding a pulse. So we're down and we're pulsing right here. Driving back and down into your heels, stick with that pulse. Now one thing to notice, if your tailbone is kind of popping out, so if you feel a really big sway in your low back, totally your core it. You wanna work the lower abdominal muscles here and not strain the back. If you have your tailbone popping out, come up higher and find that pulse. All right, just a little bit longer. Working the core, getting into the legs. One more big breath. Exhale it out, straighten your legs, so good. Turn your toes straight forward. Take your hands, interlace them behind your back, lift that chest, and exhale, hold forward. Grab it down. Relax your hands down on the mat. Option to stay right here or shift around in your standasana. And legs can be as wide as you need them, right? Legs can come as far apart as you can. For standasana, bend into one knee, left or right, drop your hips down. You can be really low. If you're up higher, that's okay. And then other side, so good. Back to center, nicely done. Walk your hands forward, find that plank pose, and then just kick it back downward facing dog. Taking the left side now. Inhale, left toes high, reach it up. Exhale, left foot comes all the way through. So good. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Same options as the other side, back knee can drop down. Otherwise, hands come to heart center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Straight up, straight down. Find your breath. Keep it flowing. Nice deep inhales and exhales. The longer we do this, the easier it gets, right? One more. Hold it low. Now, just that front heel. Lift and lower. Targeting those muscles. Two more. Nice work. Straighten it up. Turn into your warrior two. Arms come out wide. Sink into that front knee. Get very, very low. Reach and lengthen through your arms. Big breath. Big, big exhale. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. And up. And down. One more. Inhale it up. Exhale lower. Hold here for a breath. Nice work. Inhale up, star pose, so good. Heels in, toes out. Now we're sinking lower and we're finding a yogi squat. You might want to prop for this. Soccer ball is great. Block, cushion, any of those things. So bring your feet about a little bit wider than hip width distance and lower all the way down. So if you have a block, you can set it right underneath you. Sink down, down, down in those hips. Let that happen, right? Let that stretch just happen. Gravity pulls you down. So you're here, or maybe you're up here if you're tight or maybe you have a block or something right underneath you. Hands come to heart center. We're gonna take a flow three times here. Inhale all the way up, press into your feet, use your legs, lift yourself up high, exhale down. Two more times, all the way up and down. Last round up and down. So good, nice work. Plant your hands, straighten your legs, bend that forward fold once again. Bring your feet as far apart as you need. Just drop your head down, big breath. Big exhale. Nice work, lift it up. Find your plank pose. Step it back, down dog, push those hips up. Take a breath. Take an exhale. Inhale, look through your hands. Exhale, step or jump your feet all the way through. Come down to your back. Just a tiny, tiny bit of core here. Sink the body, Kanasana crunches. Soles of the feet press together. Now walk your heels in as close to you as you can. So we're stretching the hips, relax your back down on the mat, hands come behind your head, lift and lower. Straight up, straight down, breathing in and out. Up and down. So 
so good. Elbows are wide. So one thing to really note is if your low back is not pressing flat into the mat, you want to adjust that. So maybe that means locking your feet farther away. You really want to target the core muscles and you need a flat back to do that. Couple more. Elbows wide. Just for three. And down, so good. Relax your arms by your sides. Reach your legs straight up the wall. Flex your toes back towards you. Now targeting the hip flexors, drop that right leg down, lift it up. Left leg down, lift it up, side to side. Nice work. Keep your toes flexed. Really control those legs as you drop them down and try to keep the legs as straight as you possibly can. Just a couple more. Deep in that breath. Big inhales, deep, deep exhales. Take one more each side. All right, back to legs up the wall, flex those toes. Such an awesome restorative posture for our legs. It takes all that weight that we put on our legs all day and just reverses it. Big breath, big exhale, lower down. Find a happy baby pose. So knees come really wide. Grab the inside arches of your feet, roll it out left and right. Option to stay right here. Option for a little bit more. Spread the legs and really stretch. Strengthen your, or stretch your, Straighten your legs, excuse me. Press your low back in the mat. You can rack a little bit left or right, get into that tailbone. And then bring your knees back into your chest. So good, plant your left foot, take your right ankle on top of that left knee. Pull your leg and grab onto your shin. Pull that leg in towards you. So option to be pulling on that shin, otherwise you can always grab onto your big toe or your foot and just straighten that leg as well. Slowly release, opposite side, take your left ankle on top of right. Option to grab the back of the leg again, the shin. Pull that leg in towards you, get into those hips. Straighten your leg, option to grab the big toes or the back of the shin, pull it in towards you. One more big breath. Big, big exhale release, so good. All right, now take right knee on top of left. Feet are super, super wide. Grab the outside edges of your feet, pull the knees in towards you. And release opposite side left knee on top of right feet are very wide grab onto your feet or your ankles whatever is accessible pull the knees in towards you flatten your back one more big breath big exhale all right and release pull your knees in towards you wrap your arms around your knees flatten your back pull your shoulders away from your ears Hold here, find a little compression, take a big, big breath. Big open mouth exhales. You let everything go and take up some space. Big full body stretch. Nice job, you guys. We are all done. Thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to do any of those stretches at any time and hold them even longer. The longer you hold them, the easier it's going to open up your body. Thank you so much.